thing I have analyzed through my failures is that there is a vertical aspect to failures. So imagine there is a mountain which is 500 meters and the person who quit at 50 meters is a failure. Person who quit at 100 meters is a failure and 490 meters is still a failure for society. Only the person who reaches the apex, the peak, the summit is called as success. But is this person who quit at 50 and the person who quit at 490, are they same? They are not same. Absolutely not same. Because the kind of hard work that person has put in, the kind of learnings that person has taken is very different. You cannot compare the failure of a person who has just entered and quit and the person who has tried, but had done determination, had the de determination to go through. You cannot compare these failures. No, not all failures are same. So important what is your pursuit. The person who has failed at 490 is a different person. He is an evolved being. He has learned a lot in the journey. He has the lessons, the wisdom, the knowledge, the skills which he, which he or she can utilize in another venture. This takes me to another of my point. That is, we should not, we should not consider ourselves as failure if we just do not reach the peak. Peak is just one point. And as people say, doors, when one door closes, many doors open. But, but truth be told, these doors are open only for prepared people. So the person who quit at 490, for him or her, these doors are open. Not for the person who quit at 50. Because the learnings are different. This person who has learned along the way has other doors open for him or her. Take the example of Amita Bachchan. He was rejected as a radio jockey because of his husky voice. And now that voice has become the major, you know, major attraction, the huskiness, the sincerity of that, that voice has become the major attraction. And of course, we all know he has failed many times and yet again succeeded. So the doors open only for those who keep learning and who keep their pursuit on. This leads to my fifth point. It is very important that we analyze our failures. Many a times I have seen that because somebody tells you being monkey is the next best thing in market, we all try to become monkeys. But if you are better at swimming, then be a fish because you have to play on your strengths. The moment you move beyond your strengths, the moment you try to become something which other person is telling you to, then you lose your strength and this becomes inevitable failure. Inevitable because you are not prepared for that. You are not loving that. You are not passionate about that. So if you are having failures in life, analyze. Is there something wrong with what you are trying to achieve? Is there something wrong in your direction? Analyze. I, I never say just be obsessive about one thing. But yes, one has to have determination and passion. At the same time, with analysis, whether the direction is right. If you are a fish, be a fish. Be a good fish. Don't be a bad monkey. Because when in society it will judge you, it will always say, this is a bad monkey and that is a good fish. So always do what you are best at.